What's going on guys? So today we're doing finishing up the install for the amp. Been having to put that ground wire and then run the RCAs. And then I was coming out to install the digital rear view mirror and then the carbon side skirts for the vet. Uh so sweet. Those are probably either gone today or tomorrow. I gotta see how much how long everything else takes me, but that's gonna make a huge freaking difference, guys. Huge freaking difference. And then uh has the back pieces in carbon fiber that come out here. And then eventually I'll get these black ones in carbon fiber. And I'm gonna get the extended ones that come out a little bit more, but everything will match up nice for when I get the wide body. Everything will match up real dope. But yeah, I'm gonna swap out the side view um, the rear view mirror. But just wanted to say I I know this has the uh lights, right? So what I'm thinking of doing is adding a switch or um connecting to the sun visor, right? The the power outlet here, so I don't have to add any more power. And then just put some two smaller lights here where they're hidden. Um, probably some black PCB uh, 50 50 lights that'll brighten up enough, or I may just do one here right in the middle, right? And then you just open up one of these sun visors and it'll it'll send the current there. But that's gonna be the plan for that. And then this, from what I was researching, is just a twist, right? So we'll get this down, and then this mount will just twist off, and that's how. I'll be able to replace the, the rear view mirror. That, I have no idea what the freak it is. So if any of y'all know what the hell that is, I don't know. I bought the car like that. No freaking clue. But we'll get that done. Well, you can see I still got the wires and everything back here. Um, we'll get the ground um, hooked up. We'll get the speaker wire ran, the RCAs. And then here's where I put the... Uh, base knob all right so got to take all this off and run the rcas behind that see so everybody got the foam mount up there but yeah guys that'll be it for today's install and then won't need to get any power from here right so what i'll do is once i disconnect this i'll run the cables all through here down the pillar um near the gasket and in the fuse boxes over there right so that's where where the other uh connection and harness and everything for the side view mirror for the rear view mirror will go so guys as you can see already done the mount for the mirror already put it on okay so all the plugs go on top that way you can hide them in the in the headliner wherever it's going and, you know like i said it has the power button on the bottom so that'll be on there. This has that bluish tint, but that's because it has the protective layer on. Once I peel that off, it'll be clear. And then you have the harness for the rear view mirror, right? That will run here. So we'll have essentially two rear view mirrors. The one for the radio and then that one that will be on all the time. And then you have the power cable. All right, you got the one end that goes to the mirror. Then the other end that runs down the pillar and then goes to the fuse box. And you have a GPS antenna, all right? Because like I said, this does GPS, it does Wi-Fi. Um, you can have your uh, map and everything on the mirror so if you don't want to have it on the radio and all that stuff. But um, it does come with a memory card adapter. Comes with the memory card. You have different options to buy different sizes. I opted for the 64 gig. Um, comes with a little tool. But these are the, the, the pieces that I was talking about, the rubber pieces that you can put this mirror without the mount over the existing mirror, but that just looks tacky to me. So um, we're just gonna do a full replacement. But like I said, when this is off, it looks like a regular mirror. So you have the best of both worlds. You can have this on um, at night and see clearly, see if you have like dark tints and all that stuff, you'll see hella clear. Um, if not, you can just turn it off and then it'll be a normal mirror. So let's get that done. So it does have the clip behind it all you gotta do is just pull squeeze in the middle and then the clip should come right out it's kind of hard doing it this stuff with one hand but give me a sec 
and there you go guys all right just pull the tab on top if you want like i said it's easier with two hands hold one uh use one hand to hold the mirror and the other hand you push down to the tab and then push back and you just wiggle it and it'll come right off so again this should twist just be careful you don't apply too too much pressure if you're feeling you're applying too much pressure and you don't want to break the windshield i've done that before and it's not fun so yeah we'll do that and then um like i said if you're feeling too too much pressure just back off and you know do more research and make sure you're doing it the right way and this isn't the one that requires the clip in the back or anything like that so all right guys so like i said it was a twist i grabbed from the top and the bottom of the mirror and then you as you start applying a little bit of pressure you'll still you'll see it start twist um coming off just make sure this doesn't hit up here it gives you more space and then just it'll pop right off so not gonna lie that was hella scary but we got it off then we'll mount the new one and then we'll run the wires you can see this has got a little flex so we'll run the wires through here run them down the eight pillar and then uh get this stuff installed all right guys so this did take some time um you're just gonna see the video kind of from another thing i installed but i had to contact the vendor they had to send me a different mount because the one that they sent me before did not fit so hopefully this one fits there and we can finally do this install all right so i don't remember just recap gps antenna uh, rear camera power and uh, general power for this this is rear camera signal and then the SD card is in there okay so kind of did tape everything up to take stay everything together and then it will get tucked up under here but my main thing is I want to see if this does snap in So, ta-da! Yes. All right. Like I said, this has the the blue protective tint film on it, but once this comes off, it'll look like a regular mirror. Good. That fit. So it was just an on and then twist. All right. It is secure. And then I'll hide all these wires in the pillars all through here. Run it down to the fuse box. <laughs> And that's where I'll get my power from. Then I have to run the cable to the back for a signal for the rear view camera. So um, I'll show you guys what that looks like. That's pretty simple. Just, you know, this is pretty flexible. Just run your wire through here. Run it on the opposite side of the pillar, like near the gasket between the window and the pillar. And then you run it down there. Remove the gasket. Run it inside the panels. All the way to the back okay so um, that's pretty simple in that aspect and then the power and all that will stay we'll go here into the fuse box so this is the original one to the camera I'll make sure I tuck this away zip tie it so it doesn't look ugly or anything like that um, later on I'll use this for when I do the radar detector mount on here and then we'll use yeah we'll pull power from that but pretty simple guys um when you do the wiring it has power ground constant because this also does have a feature where if it the car's off and it notices someone walking by it'll start recording okay so it does have that um feature as well so I'll just give you guys a little glance see the blue clear all right cool it still looks a little bluish and a little hazy because it's got the cover on and then the back window so all right guys I'll show you guys what it looks like all right guys so these are the fuse taps i was talking about so one's going to be for the power this damn thing focus and the other one's going to be for the constant okay so whatever fuse i find tap this in the location put that fuse back in here and then put the one for the camera Right, doing the same thing for for both the power and the constant and then the ground will just ground out right so you can find these on Amazon pretty cheap you can find them in bundles but these are these are really good instead of having to take the wire directly to the the cable inside the car right all right guys so pulled 
this top piece down a little bit and it, like i said it flexes hide the wire under here the pillar just has clips just just literally pop off and just wiggle and it'll come out upward all right so we're gonna continue to hide the wire up here hopefully you guys don't see too much glare and then we'll run it down the pillar you kind of have a nice little gap here we can run the wire down to the fuse box show you that in a minute all right so i decided to keep the gps antenna out because once i mount this probably put it somewhere here in the glass but so the wires are there they're down here for now and then i'll put the pillar back on show you guys what that looks like all right so once i put snap the pillar back in uh hook this up instead of the glass because the whole front windshield is tinted i just connect it to the plastic pillar but it's back on make sure you put the seal back on and then what you have to do is run the wire all the way to the back camera all right all right guys so the rear view camera wire is all ran through here all up through here the panel around okay it's ran through here pulled this piece out because I did run it underneath here underneath here and there's already a hole for the other camera that's there so I was able to feed it through and so it doesn't block the radio one I'll probably just put it over to the side, maybe angle it just a tiny, tiny bit, or if not, just keep it straight. But the ones I have in the GTR are on two different sides, and you can see everything clear. But yeah, that'll be there, and then that'll be it. Uh, hook up the power, ground, do a test, and I'll try and do a review and show you guys what uh, all that looks like. But if you guys have any questions, let me know. Again, I don't know if you can see it, but super clean came out good once I plug up the wire power wires and then the um, GPS antennas up here but if you guys got any questions let me know